I didn't know what my next job was going to be, how you're going to support your family. Doug Schliesman faced a financial crisis. The Wisconsin GM plant was about to shut down, and Doug was going to lose his job after 17 years. His wife, Stephanie, was very concerned. I had a lot of fear. Was there going to be another job in the area? Would we have to move somewhere far away? They leaned on each other and their faith in God to get them through. I knew there were challenges going to be ahead, and um, the only way we can do it is to do it together. And one decision they made together was to stay faithful with their tithing. I want to please God. I want him to be happy with me and my family, and we want to do what we're supposed to do because we want to please God. That is what Stephanie had learned on the 700 Club. Trust the Lord, even though it felt like we couldn't afford to tithe. Really, we couldn't afford not to. When you need God, he's going to come through. Stephanie also continued to give offerings to CBN. There's lots of places you can sow your money, but I see the 700 Club being consistent with God's word and consistent with reaching out in so many different areas. The day after the plant closed, Stephanie was offered a full-time secretarial position at her son's private school, and tuition was included. While Doug searched for a job, he received unemployment benefits, and somehow the Schliesmans had enough money to pay the bills. It stretched and multiplied. We were able to survive. A few days after Doug's unemployment benefits ended, he landed a management job at the Chrysler plant, making twice what he yes. made before. Yes. Thank you. God came through. I knew he would. I was overcome with joy. I finally saw what God was waiting for. It was his time, not mine. Doug, Stephanie, and their kids believe God honored their obedience when they continued to give during hard times. God's principles never fail, and that was probably the greatest, most valuable lesson I've ever learned.